Welcome back everyone. In the previous video we learned about how to fetch the posts uh, with the help of the WordPress REST API. You can see we've got all of the data of the post data, uh, page count and how many posts are available and all of that information. All we have to do now is just display that onto the front end in React. Okay, awesome. So what we need to do is over here, let's just create a div with the class name container and just give container and block just give a style I usually don't write inline style but for now I'm just putting that okay overflow hidden okay and inside of this div let's just check if it's not loading which the loading is false which means we've got the data now the request is complete and the post is not equal to null and post has the has some value it's an array okay if that is the case let's take it in a bracket then do display the post otherwise uh, we can display the error message so we already got the error message from top, so error message. So remember we initialize that error message first and if the request fails, um, we get some errors, we are setting that error. So the error message will contain the error message, sorry, the error, uh, whatever is uh, there, okay. So let's just do react dot fragment to avoid any extra divs. And we're going to create a function to get the posts. I mean, you can do that over here as well. You can loop through the posts over here as well. But just to keep things neat and to tell you that that's also a possibility, you can call functions inside of React components. Uh, so you can do that that way. So we can just say get posts. And it's going to take posts array. We already have that. And then just return you want to loop through it so posts dot map and we're going to get post and let's put this into a component to make it neat so we're going to create a post component let's do that we create a post component again import react from react and then export default okay const post it's going to need the props export default post let's just return post for now Okay, let's close it, come back to this. So once you loop through it, is the post is going to be called. We're also going to need to pass the, an ID and post already has ID available. Remember, post.id, right? And then we're going to need to pass the post inside of it so we can display the data. And just close this. That's it. And just call this function over here. get posts then we're going to need the pagination as well so we'll create a component called pagination inside of layout pagination again i'm just going to import react from react it's over here export default pagination and just return pagination for now and we'll deal with this later okay again you need props close it 
close this one as well and put the pagination. Okay, we're going to need to pass a few other things uh, like current page as props because when the user clicks uh, we need to definitely need to know ab about this information and then set current page so when the user clicks uh, that particular page number then we can call that function and change the page number set current page and also we need to know the total number of pages so that we can generate uh, the content for the pagination as to how many pages need to be shown so we're going to need the total pages I'll put that here and we'll go ahead and pull all of this data okay we'll worry about that later let's get back to our posts okay uh, let's close the post loader I'll go back to a post why is it showing like that? missing import statement okay it's not imported yet yeah, let's import it post okay great Awesome. So we've got the post available. All we have to just loop through it. So I'm going to go back to the post. In fact, I think we should move this post and post to layouts because these are not pages. These are like reused components. And go back and just make sure that we've got everything that we need. So post loader. Okay, it's here. Okay. Client config. Yep, there you go. Great. And let's check if anything else. Post. Great. Post loader, fine. Posts. Yep, that's great. So coming back to our post.js. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the post from the props because that's what we're passing. So post is equal to props. Okay, we're going to pull that using object based structuring. Okay, then we're going to need the title. So let's put that there. So we need the title. So we'll check if post.title, if the title is there, then show a link. In fact, this should be link component. So let's just import link from, uh, and this link should have two. This should link, this link should go actually go to uh, that particular post. And we already have a single page for the post. So I'm just going to put that there. So post and then post.id so if you go back to app.js you only got the single post so here it is so we're just reusing that okay so that's what we created in the previous videos okay so that's two let's close it not close it yet but just name it so this will be post title post.title and then that's it okay so this is going to be title and the next thing it will be the featured image let's see if we're actually getting it onto the front end so we'll go back to blocks uh, can I read property map of undefined so in the real world scenarios we already know that we do get errors because sometimes we miss something that's completely fine the reason why we're getting this error because it's not able to find posts because we haven't passed posts inside of it. So we just need to pass posts over here. That's it. Inside of our page, this is not able to find it. So you just change it layout. That's it. And inside of the blogs, again, there should be layout. That's it. So we just need to set the right path. Okay, that's, there you go. Loading, loading stopped. 
And there you go, you've got all of the titles available. Of course, they don't look great, but that's fine. We've got the data at least, right? Awesome, great. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and fetch the images, okay, uh, as well. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Take care.